Hello everyone, I'm happy to virtually be here again at Cyber Week this year. And like most of you, very much look forward to the day when we can all be together again in Tel Aviv. Uh, but as they say, necessity is the mother of invention, and that has never been more true than in 2020. Starting this spring, we've seen five years of transformation occur in five months, with a massive acceleration in the adoption of remote worker technology, cloud computing, and software as a service. And organizations learn quickly that accelerating their digital transformation meant accelerating their security transformation. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, think about the instant remote workforce that was created when corporate offices were closed, when companies were being run from numerous home offices and spare bedrooms across the globe. Uh, according to a recent CyberArk survey, 77% of remote employees have used insecure, unmanaged personal devices to access corporate systems, including installing corporate VPNs on home computers and other personal devices. And nearly all of them say they reuse the same password across applications and devices. That same study found that almost one third of working parents admit to sharing their corporate issued laptops and tablets with their children for activities including virtual learning. The security challenge of the remote workforce has gone beyond user behavior, extending to the very tools that they're supposed to help us be more productive and more secure. Two-thirds of people working from home adopted new collaboration tools that experienced widely reported security vulnerabilities, including a significant vulnerability in Microsoft Teams discovered by CyberArk Labs earlier this year. And just recently, our labs team uncovered multiple vulnerabilities across ma most major antivirus software solutions, software that runs on a vast number of machines. Fortunately, all of these vendors were highly responsive to our findings, and all of these vulnerabilities have been resolved. But these examples highlight that we are living in a new world. And in this new world, businesses must change their approach to security just to survive. And those businesses that truly transform their security approach will do more than survive. They'll thrive. Why? Because with a global remote workforce um, comes access to massive talent pool, the ability to rapidly tap into best resources, and the capability to create an always-on work from anywhere workforce. The smartest companies among us will recognize this time as an opportunity to charge ahead and will understand how to embrace digital transformation using cybersecurity technology that allows them to move faster and smarter. So what does it take for a company to move fearlessly forward? Well, first you need to take an identity-centric view of security. With an always-on work-from-anywhere workforce, the notion of physical or network perimeters has all but disappeared. Moving forward, identity is the new perimeter. Identity is what connects users to their devices and apps, which themselves are connected to data, systems, and services, also through identity. In transforming their security, businesses need to employ an identity-centric security paradigm, one that will allow them to deliver secure access and privilege for any identity to any resource using any device from anywhere. Once you take on an identity-first mindset and look around your business, you'll see the type of number of privileged identities is rapidly expanding. Until recently, only IT admins were considered privileged users. This obviously expanded to admins using cloud consoles. But in today's environment, almost any identity can be privileged under certain conditions. This could be workforce team member who is also the admin of a sensitive HR or financial systems, or even a non-human identity like an automation bot that has excessive sens accesses sensitive applications during a routine as task. All these types of privilege access represent high risk to the organization and therefore require high levels of security controls. That brings me to my second point. You can't have identity security unless you're properly managing the human and application access to your most valuable assets, your crown jewels. At CyberArk, we apply our identity security solution anchored on privilege access, along with our expertise to secure the highest risks to the business. In the current environment, we have been called into many of the growing number of breaches where privilege access was either at risk or worse, actually compromised. The server lining is that CyberArk is ready to help. 
we have been called upon to support remediation efforts for 40% or more of the most significant cybersecurity breaches of the decade. In fact, we're often referred to as the second phone call after incident response, with our privilege access management as the system that has let organizations regain control of their environment. I can't emphasize enough how valuable this experience is, is. As our teams work with remediation experts to deeply understand the sources of these attacks, and then we feed that learning back into products we develop and to best practices for our customers. Just before the pandemic began, we had the opportunity to partner with a leading business process service provider who is utilizing CyberArk Privilege Cloud, CyberArk's Privilege Access Management, as a service solution. This company has more than 30,000 employees spread around the, the globe and was looking to implement a Privilege Access Management or PAM for short, solution that provides fast, scalable risk reduction. As part of their, their PAM efforts, the team reduced the amount of identities with unnecessary privilege access by 50%, and then quickly moved to secure all domain admins and server admin access through Privilege Cloud. The PAM team reviews who has access to the most sensitive systems, and the only way for users to maintain their access is through the CyberArk Privilege Cloud. And increasingly, Sensitive systems and assets have moved to the cloud, whether that lifting and shifting on-premise workloads, adopting SaaS, or developing new cloud native applications. In fact, Verizon's 2020 data breach report indicates that 43% of data breaches involve cloud-based data. Also, recent research by the Enterprise Strategy Group indicates that over-permissioned accounts is the top-ranked cloud service misconfiguration. There are multiple challenges in securing critical assets in the cloud. There's no physical network perimeter. Cloud security architectures are fragmented. There's lack of expertise in cloud security. What's more, the number of cloud identities is rapidly growing, and the permissions associated with them are skyrocketing. Take, for example, TARDIS, the largest ERP provider in Brazil. They rely on multiple public cloud providers, including their own private cloud, to run their business as well as provide services to customers. TOTUS is using CyberArk's Privilege Access Management solution to reduce their attack surface and secure access to cloud instances with consistent security controls for privilege accounts, credentials, and secrets across their multi-cloud environments. Furthermore, they are using CyberArk to manage privilege credentials in the cloud using pr the principle of least privilege, significantly improving the efficiency of their workflows by enabling end-to-end -end automation of key processes as well as simplifying audits and ensuring ISO compliance. Organizations like TOTUS and others understand that just as any identity can be privileged under the right circumstances, almost any identity can be the target of an attack on privilege access. Attackers get their foot in the door through an initial infection, such as a targeted phishing attack or stolen credentials. Then they go to work inside your organization, always looking to escalate their privilege. They will perform reconnaissance and will try to move laterally across users, hoping to go up a level in terms of privilege access. They repeat this process until they gain the access to critical assets and disrupt your business as a result. So beyond securing the cloud or hybrid infrastructure, it's also important to secure your always-on work-from-anywhere workforce. And as you might guess, it's often the devices used by these remote workers that present some of the most appealing targets for attackers. At CyberArk, we've developed a solution specifically for remote workers. It's called Endpoint Privilege Manager. Removing local admin rights from workstations, along with application control and gray listing, is 100% effective in preventing ransomware. And it stops that credential theft, lateral movement pattern that attackers like to use so much. One of our customers, a global manufacturing company, recently de deployed Endpoint Privilege Manager to secure over 55,000 endpoints. Their security team is able to observe and control which applications can be installed or run without admin rights, prevent users installing unsectioned applications, and block malware with minimal impact on the business. And now that 100% of their office workforce is working remotely, you can imagine how important that move was for the company so that they could keep operating during a shutdown and outpace their competitors. We are passionate about helping customers with these solutions and are proud of our leadership in this space. 
We continue to be recognized by Gartner in the Magic Quadrant for Privilege Access Management, where CyberArk was positioned both highest in the ability to execute and furthest in completeness of vision. We've also added some additional award-winning technology to our portfolio through our recent acquisition of iDaptive, a leading identity as a service company that we acquired in May. Yes, in the middle of the lockdown. As a key element of our identity security strategy, iDaptive delivers AI-powered, contextually aware multi-factor authentication, single sign-on, and identity lifecycle management that will enable identities to move seamlessly between levels of access. With Adaptive, Cybrock will offer customers a SaaS-delivered, security-first approach to managing identities with privilege access at its core. That reduces risk, simplifies operation, and improves business agility. Today, we proudly serve over 6,000 customers in 95 countries, including the majority of Fortune 500 companies and approximately a third of the Global 2000. So in closing, Remember that although we're entering a new world of work life with the associated new tools and new security mindsets, there are things you can do right now to secure your most important assets, wherever they are and however they're accessed. First, identify your most critical assets, whether they are on-premise or in the cloud, and protect them using privilege access management. Second, think like an attacker so that you can secure your most vulnerable entry points, such as employee workstations. And third, push your teams to take an identity-centric view of the world. As you take the steps to transform your security model, remember that you're really taking the steps to help your business move fearlessly forward in this new world, one where you can actually thrive. Thank you, everyone, and best of health and security to all of you. Thank you.